For this reason, the Bible says, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Marriage is God's idea. It is God's plan. It is honorable. It is good. It is right. It is a lasting bond forever, which is why Jesus said, what, man is, what God has joined together, let man not separate. The Apostle Paul celebrated marriage when he said it is a symbol of the union between Jesus the Savior and his church. That means we, you and I, are the beautiful bride of Christ today. Marriage between one man and one woman was created by God to grow the human race, to make us happy and productive, to build the kingdom of God, to enrich the lives of those who enter into it. And that is why, with confidence, we can look to God this morning for grace and for guidance to fulfill our responsibilities as husband and wife. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? And the congregation may be seated. We are very pleased that every one of you is here today, and we look forward to a great time together. We're going to begin with a special musical number by a group of young people called the Karen Choir. tell you something that we all here think that you are a very beautiful couple and a very special couple as well. You are very special to the Karen community here in Langley. You're very special, I'm sure, Gene too, you are from Georgia, USA, and I'm sure you are very special to the Karen community there. You are very special to the Karen community back in the refugee camps where your family still lives. And also, you're very special to your families. But most of all, you are, I want you to know, a very special young couple in the eyes of God. And furthermore, we here are all very proud of both of you. And so I have a special word to share with you today from Colossians chapter 1. And it says that we have not stopped praying for you since the first day that we heard about you. In fact, we always pray that God will show you everything 
everything that He wants you to do, and that you may have all the wisdom and the understanding that His Spirit gives. For then you will live a life that honors the Lord, and you will always please Him by doing good deeds. You will come to know God even better than you do now. His glorious power will make you patient and will make you strong, strong enough to endure anything, and you will be truly happy. I pray that you will be grateful to God, grateful for letting you have a part in what he has promised his people who live in the kingdom of light. God has rescued us from the dark power, the power of Satan, and he has brought us into the kingdom of his dear son, who forgives our sins and has set us free. Colossians chapter 1. Eleni 1 and uh, Gene 2, you came to Canada and to the United States only a few years ago, along with many other Karen people. And before you arrived, and before the Karen people arrived, I have to confess that very few Canadians had even ever heard of the Karen people. I certainly never did. We knew nothing about the refugee camps. We knew nothing about the Karen people or the Karen story. But since we have met you, many of us from the Langley Evangelical Free Church, many of us from St. Joseph's Catholic Church, many of us from Christian Life Assembly, and many of us from Home Church Langley, we have fallen in love with you and we have prayed for you and we have encouraged you, and I want you to know what an honor it has been for us to do that. To welcome you, and to watch you grow, and to watch you learn, and uh, get accustomed to life in Canada and in the United States. And we pray now that, and we have been praying, that God will show you in this new land everything that he wants you to be, and everything that he wants you to do as he guides you by his word and as he guides you by his spirit to love God with all of your heart and soul and mind and strength, to work hard with your hands and with your mind, to get married as is obedient to God's law, to, if it is the Lord's will, to have children and raise them to honor him, to pray to read God's word, to know God's word, and to be active in his church. We will now proceed with the marriage vows. The Bible says, wives, be subject to your husband as to the Lord, and as Christ, as the church rather, is subject to Christ. And the Bible says, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And in the same spirit of humility and support, I call upon each of you to answer these questions. Do you, Gene 2, take LNA 1, before God and before these happy witnesses to be your wedded wife? And will you love her? And will you comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking every other, keeping to her only, as long as you both shall live? And do you, Elaine one do you take Gene II before God and before these happy witnesses to be your wedded husband? And will you love him? And will you comfort him? Will you honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking every other, keeping to him only, as long as you both shall live? Would you repeat after me now? I gain a two. 
take you, L.A. Newan, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's plan, and I pledge myself with all my heart. And would you repeat after me? I, Ellen, may one. Take you, Gene, two. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's plan, and I pledge myself with all my heart. And what special gift do you have? as part of your marriage vow. Would you place it part way on Elena Wan's finger and repeat after me? This ring I give because of the promise made today between us in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And LN1, what special gift do you give? Would you place it part way on Gene 2's finger and repeat after me? This ring I give because of the promise made today between us in the name of the Father and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, for as much as you, Gene Tu, and as much as you, Eleni One, have today made a covenant together according to God's holy ordinance of marriage, and you have confirmed it by making solemn vows before God and before all of us here today, and by joining hands and giving and receiving a ring, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss the bride. Did you catch that, Rick? You have to be quick. <laughs> that is the, the holy part of marriage. And now we go to the legal part. And that is we will sign the marriage license over at the table here. And while the wedding party is signing the marriage license, uh, we will have some more special music by Sheba. Oh, when 
have a special gift for you, and uh, that is a Bible, the gift of the Bible. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus said that everyone who hears his words and lives his words will be wise. And when you are wise and living what the Bible says to do, he said that you will be strong. You will be like a house that is built on a very strong rock and foundation. And when the rain comes and the storm blows and the hurricane and the typhoon and all of that, your house will stand strong if your lives are built on the word of God. And so this is your gift uh, from all of us. And it says that if we live our life and we just do what we want to do, and we don't pay any attention to the Bible. It says that when those storms come, then our life will, our little house will collapse, will fall down because of the storm. So we want you to take this Bible, read this Bible, learn it, live it, apply it. And um, nothing will change God's love for those who read his word and who obey. It's also the name of this next song that uh, Bui is going to share with us. Bui has come all the way from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and uh, it is his honor and all of our honors to hear him sing now. So please come, Bui. I need you. 
to live my life without you near me. The day was always empty, and the nights will seem so long. With you, I see forever, so clearly. I might have been in love before, but it's never failed this far. Dreams are your heavy bone The take us where we want to go Hold me now, touch me now I don't want to live without you Nothing gonna change my love for you You gotta know by now how much I need you Why can't you shoot forever? Nothing's gonna change my love Thank you very much. We, you know, one of the symbols that we have in a Christian wedding when we want to proclaim that nothing will ever change my love for you is something called the unity candle. And that's over here now. And I'm going to ask that the bride and the groom would go over to the table there and light the unity candle. And I'm sure some great pictures will be taken. At this time, we have a special announcement from Yemu. He is going to uh, share the announcement in Karen. And then, because I speak such good Karen, I will share the same announcement in English afterwards. But first, Yemu. No. <laughs> ปีเปียกีตุเวมุปะโกอะเดเนื้อเปมเหมาะอะเวสิปะสิปะดาตาดอเวปะติเวตะพิตัมมาเนาะเวพอเลอะตุนิญัยอะเวดิเปมเหม
Oh, 